Hi everybody, so today for this video I wanted to do a demonstration of the Alexa devices controlling a Fire TV stick. This is something that Amazon announced a couple of days ago and uh, I think the uh, Alexa works great. I've made some other videos here on my channel about it so check those out if you haven't. But I've been overall very happy with it, not a lot of issues. I have three of these devices and Today we're going to go over how to use your Alexa device to control your Fire TV. So this is Amazon's guide to setting this up. I'm going to include the link in the description. So make sure you check that out if uh, you're interested in setting this up on your own. I will show a quick demo of me setting this up on my iPhone 7 Plus. And I will use that then to uh, see how it works, right? I should be able to control the Fire TV interface through one of my Echo Dots or other devices, right? An Echo Dot, Echo Look, if you have any of these. In my case, it'll be an Echo Dot, so stay tuned for that. Be coming right up. Okay, guys, so here I am on the iPhone. I have the Amazon Alexa app. I'm gonna go ahead and launch that. You wanna go up here to the top left, the menu to music, videos, and books. And there it is, my Fire TV that I'm going to link. So go ahead and select that. Control your Fire TV with your Alexa device. Awesome. Let's go ahead and link the device. So in my case, I have two Fire TV sticks. I'm going to choose the first one. Continue. I have to choose which of my devices I'm going to use to control this Fire TV stick. So in this case, is the Echo Dot W that's in my office. So go ahead and link. All right, so that's pretty much it right there. I'll go ahead and return to Fire TV. Change devices, and there I can see that Lewis's Fire TV is linked with the Echo Dot W, the white one that I have. So it looks to be working as it should. At least it looks to be set up the way it should, so I'm going to go back all the way out. Check it again. There it is, Fire TV. Manage devices, and I can at least double check there. So it looks like it's good to go, and then I'm just going to switch out of here and show you the demo. Okay, everybody, so I'm just going to do a quick demo here. I haven't really used it that much, but I looked at the available commands so I do have this uh, Apple TV running up there in that television I also have an Amazon Fire TV stick I have a, another couple videos I've made about this setup if you're interested check those out I'll include a link at the end uh, of the video so stick around for that but in my case um, it looks like you can switch it without setting up anything else other like uh, IFT or the Logitech Harmony Hub that I have set up here and all my uh, setups pretty much at this point. But I'm going to try that first, see if that works. I do have it working with my own workaround that I've had for a long time now. So Alexa, trigger Fire TV. So using IFT and the Harmony Hub. It'll switch it here to the Fire TV. Now before this feature came out, the voice control through the Echoes, I would use the app on the device. So the app on the iPhone, the uh, Fire TV remote app. But here apparently now there's some other options. So let's see. Alexa, search for movies by Robert De Niro. Alexa, turn off office LED light. Okay. Alexa, turn on office light. Okay. It shows some results there. Alexa, play analyze this. So I picked the movie that I'd have to buy or rent, so that I wouldn't be able to complete with the voice. But if I pick another one, Alexa, go home. Like for example, that one I was uh, trying earlier. 
Alexa, play Zoolander 2. So there you go, it starts playing a movie. So if you already know what you want to watch, this is great. I think it works really well, it works fast, it's very snappy. If you have this set up in a bedroom or even your living room, it'd be a pretty cool way to control it. Alexa, pause. Alexa, resume. Alexa, go home. Alexa, launch Netflix. That takes a little longer. Alexa, go home. All right, so you get the idea. If you know what you want to watch and it's available without you having to buy or rent, you can pretty much navigate with your voice only. So that's just a quick example of how you can use your Echo devices to control your Fire TV stick or even a Fire, an actual Fire TV that Amazon sells. I don't have that in this case, but that opens up a couple more controls, but nothing that you can't do with a uh, Logitech hub, as you've seen before, I have it back there, skews the lighting. That and Ift can pretty much accomplish that, how you have been able to do that, so. So that's it for this video. Thank you as always for watching. Hit the like button if you liked it. Leave a comment if you have anything to say about this. And I'll catch you in the next one.